That's dirt, maybe mold. It's not fully dry from the last time that I used it, covered in sand. While manufacturers recommend cleaning reservoirs and water bottles after every use, I don't do that. And you probably don't either. <laughs> This is my show, gosh darn. So if you're like me, you probably don't think about cleaning your reservoir or your hydration bladder after every use, let alone after a month or so. But it turns out that if you clean your reservoir and take care of it, it will last a lot longer and your water won't taste like f So in this video, I will cover the supplies that you'll need to clean your reservoir, how you're gonna clean your reservoir, and then some tips for storing it for next time. Righto. So here's what I will be using to clean my reservoir. I have this special brush cleaning kit that I got at REI, but you can also just use a kitchen brush, uh, anything that you'd use to scrub a water bottle, some soap, which I will dilute with water, carabiner to hang up my reservoir, my dirty reservoir and tube, and a cleaning cloth. Let's clean some stuff. So I'm going to fill my reservoir with my tube attached with water and then I'll add some of that soap. And then if you have a lot of funky smells or mold in your reservoir, you can use bleach, baking soda, or special cleaning tabs. If you notice a significant amount of mold in your reservoir, I would definitely say go the cleaning tab route as that is going to do the best job of killing that and then also neutralizing any odors or smells. But for me, I'm actually just gonna use a diluted soap. Okay. Heavy. Now that I have water in my reservoir, then soapy water, I need to get that water into the tube of my reservoir. The easiest way to do this is to make sure it's open, squeeze a little bit out. And now the tube of the reservoir is full of soapy water as well. We're gonna give this a shake and then we'll let it soak for about 20 minutes. I'm now gonna rinse as much of the soap out of my reservoir as I can and then get to scrubbing out the nooks and crannies. So to do this, I have my handy reservoir cleaning kit. This is the first time I'm using this. I'm very excited. Oh man, it's working. And the tube, this is crazy. Noodles, a mind of its own. Oh my god, this thing is insane. <laughs> uh, if you have a mouthpiece like mine does, I would recommend taking this off and soaking it separately. This is the thing that gets the nastiest for me because it just like drags through the dirt when I take my pack off, or I forget about it and I step on it, or just my mouth is on it. So, yeah. If you don't have a special brush for cleaning the tube of your reservoir, I've heard of people like tying a knot in a piece of paracord and then trying to pull that through to clean. But yeah, use what you got. Cool. All right. So now I've cleaned the tube of my reservoir. I've cleaned the body of my reservoir. I am going to use this small cloth to clean the mouthpiece and the connector bit. And there is sand in here that is never coming out, ever. Yeah, cool. That's good enough. The final step is to give them a really good rinse and then leave all the parts out to dry completely. This is a really important step because if you don't let your reservoir dry completely, then you're just basically creating the perfect breeding ground for more bacteria. So if there's nothing else that you take away from this video, it should be that you let it dry. And I am never gonna get all the soap out of this now. Do it in the van, they said, it'll be cool. <laughs> Note to self, get a van with a sink. If after you clean your reservoir, it tastes like soup, keep rinsing. We're almost there, we're getting there. So I finished cleaning my reservoir, I've rinsed it out, I'm gonna leave it out to dry, I'll hang up my tube as well. If you're coming back from a long hike or even just from a day hike, you can always leave your reservoir to dry overnight, but I'd just say be really careful before you put it away to make sure that all of the water is gone. So if you clean your reservoir properly and your water bottle, they're likely to last you a lot longer and save you money as well as keep it out of a landfill. That's it for how to clean your reservoir. If you have any other questions about how to clean or care for your gear, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any other suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, I'd love to hear those. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more Miranda in the Wild videos as well as other awesome content. That's all, and I will see you all in the wild. Stay hydrated. There's a person over there doing parkour. Oh my gosh. Cut this video. Go <laughs> record that person.